In this video, we'll be going over the classes in Dawncraft Echoes of Legends. Each class has kind of unique skills and items that come with them. So here's a quick breakdown with those and also recommendations for the, the class that I think is probably the best for your play style. Uh, so with the warrior class, you have the leather tunic, stone sword. Uh, you have the dodge skill of roll. Pretty basic uh, standard build uh, with max health of 11. Or max health of 22, you start with 11. Max stamina of 32. You, have, you start with 114%. Uh, you'll see as we go along, all of these will vary based on the classes that, um, you know, based on the strengths and weaknesses of each one. So this is a pretty balanced one. Next one, we'll look at the Berserker. Uh, so you start with the Stone Greatsword with 13 attack damage. A little slower, but it can hit five enemies per swing. Your skills are the Dodge skill. If the Berserker passive skill gained 0.5% additional attack damage and 0.3% additional attack speed for each 1% of missing health, additional attack speed cannot exceed 5. Uh, so with this, as you get hurt, of course you're going to get stronger, be able to move or attack quicker, uh, which is good. And then your last one is the Forbidden Strength passive skill. It allows health consumption when out of stamina. I'm not sure if that means like, the Berserker steals health, or he can consume his own health to replenish his stamina. So we'll have to kind of look into that a little bit more. But um, overall, a good build. You really want to, like, fight, get up close and personal. Um, you know, as you get hurt, you're going to get stronger. So if you find yourself getting attacked a lot, you play, you lose hearts, this build could be a good one to you know, get this passive skill with. But if you're more of a stay back and, like, play it safe, I don't think you could use this build to its full potential. Uh, so max health of 20, you start with 10, and max stamina of 25, you start with the 89% stamina. Next class will be the tank, uh, the shield, you have the chain mail, and you have the wooden morning star, 6 attack damage, you can hit 3 enemies per swing. For the skills, you have the roll, dodge skill, and then for this one, the passive skill is endurance. Gain a stun resistance for 12 seconds for the amount of stamina consumed when you're hit while you prepare an attack. So be able to not be stunned by enemies so this one of course has high health you have max health of 30 uh, but the stamina is definitely a lot lower than some of the other ones uh, but that's why you know you're the tank build to be good if you get hurt a lot you'll be able to survive a lot of hits uh, with the max health of getting up to 30 uh, so if you want to be able to you know take a lot of hits and tank as in the build's name or the class's name you can this will probably be definitely one of the better selections for you next one we'll look at is the lancer you have the Rusted Kettle Hat, the Stone Bronsor. I'm not sure how to say that. 5.6 attack damage, can hit three enemies per swing. Uh, this one has the Dodge Skill of Step. So slide a short distance in the direction you're moving, evades all incoming attacks, so that one is different. And then you have the Identity Skill of Revelation, called Eye of Hawk. Catching the weak points of the enemies, blocking, parrying, and dodging gives stacks of Revelation. Reaching the indicated amount of stacks will allow you to unleash a stunning counterattack. So this one seems really good at, you know, if you want to block and dodge a lot of stuff, build those stacks up, be able to hurt your enemies a lot. Uh, I'm not sure if you this really means like you can attack from a distance. I'm assuming it does. Uh, so you can, you know, you're still fighting, but with the Lancer here, you'll be a little bit more back. But I think this skill in itself, of course, the weapon doesn't matter. This is just the item you start with. So this could be really good if you are really good at like dodging or want to kind of play that way where you're kind of jumping around and moving and doing things like that and you could build those be able to land those like pretty big blows to your enemies uh, max health of 20 has pretty good max stamina so we're about in the middle ground again kind of like the warrior class a little bit uh, but with this one it seems like with that revelation skill it might be better in my opinion to go this route a little bit uh, than the warrior class per se but it's really just based on your style of play go to the next one here now we have our first ranged unit uh the roamer we have the bow 33 percent chance to inflict bleeding we have the highlander gear 64 arrows you have a quiver and this one actually starts with more bread than the other ones you have the roll dodge skill uh, and then you have the emergency escape which means you can now cancel your attacks by dodging allows dodging when out of stamina so you'll be able to, in the middle of drawing back, you can still cancel out of those attacks and dodge me. So this one has low health, of course. A lot of stamina, though, so you'll be able to run, uh, move a lot, very agile. Uh, but, of course, the only issue I feel like with this build or this class is 
the arrows that you'll always have to constantly get. Um, so make sure that you understand that, you know, of, of course, I'm sure that in the mod pack, there's going to be like special arrows you can get, things like that. The emergency s escape skill is pretty good. Uh, but really, you can look at this class more as like always having to replenish this. Uh, but if you like being an archer, things like that, this is definitely good. Uh, but there are other ranged classes, I think, that probably a little better. So next, we'll look at the brawler. You have glove, three attack damage, you have the chain mail, and you have another glove. Rolls, your dodge skill, and your passive skill here is hyper vitality. Allows stamina use for innate weapon skills. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that means. Cooldown is 20% weapon innate power. I think so you can just be able to hit more or swing more. So you have 24 max health and you have a, a 28 max stamina. Now one thing with the brawler, and again, let's not really look at the items themselves. It's kind of the skills and that you'll be able to get with this. Again, I, I do think this one is better than the warrior uh, just because it has a better skill than the, than the warrior had, in my opinion. So if you're going to go warrior, maybe look at the lancer, brawler as better ones. Look at the next one, which is the astrologer. So this is uh, this, the only other ranged class in the game. Uh, so you have your magician robe, your magician hood, and you actually start with an iron bound tome, which does have four spells, one that can heal you, uh, has a shield, it has a missile, and like a kind of like a trap. It has a roll dodge skill, and you have something called the Ender Step, which is a fast teleportation away from the danger. While executing this player, this skill, the player becomes immune from physical damage. So you have very low health with 16. You don't have great stamina. Uh, the Ender Step is really good. You, you do like a quick little teleportation burst. Um, of course, with this build or class, you'll be going down the uh, magical route more than anything. Uh, but again, kind of still play any way you want, technically. Um, so the Ender Step is just more like the skill that you would want. Um, but I like the Astrologer more than I like the, the Archer class or the Roamer class, only because I don't like the arrow aspect of this. Um, and again, that's just your starter tools. But like I talked about with the skills, I like the ender step more than I would pick the emergency escape. Um, only because again, you literally are immune while you do this. And so it could probably save you in a few situations. Then the next class is the Ronin class. Uh, it starts with get this hat. I don't know how to say it. Shokin. I don't want to butcher it too bad. You get a katana. Um, so you sheath this, um, and then your next attack will be powered up. So it's like you let it, if you let your player kind of put it back in the thing and then attack, it'll be better. Seven attack damage can hit two enemies. And this one has a lot of good skills, so you still have the roll. Here's a good one, a guard skill called parrying. Allows you to time your guards accordingly to prevent stamina use. You're not able to guard against ranged attacks as well. And then it only works with sword, the... Uh, the katana that they have here, and the tachi, and the longsword. And then the last skill, the technician passive skill, you can regain stamina when dodging right before an enemy attack hits you. Uh, so, again, like, with that, that is, like, pretty OP, in my opinion. Like, you'll be able to dodge attacks, regain your stamina. I mean, if once you start playing this, you'll understand how much stamina is so big and, like, keeping it higher up so you can actually dodge and run and do things like that. So the only downfall is it doesn't have great health overall. Stamina is pretty, pretty decent though, but it's really the health aspect. Uh, you know, your tank class gets dirty and that'll kind of be all of them. Uh, the builds that I would recommend in my opinion that I think are the best. I think if you're going to go up close and personal, you want to swords and things like that. I really like the Ronin the all the skills that it comes with being able to guard being able to do those now you do have to like i said equip those certain weapons so this one kind of makes you play a certain way but you still have to it's still a sword long sword it pretty much covers all of the uh, melee weapons uh, so i like ronin uh, for the second if you're gonna go um up close i would go to the berserker really just because as you get hurt uh, you're only going to get stronger. So that would be two for me. And then the third, I think I would probably go Lancer. Uh, I really like the Eye of the Hawk ability here. Whenever you block, parry, or dodge, get the Revelation stack and 
you can do good damage. And then for the ranged, I'm going to go Astrologer, only because if you are going to go full range build, uh, the mana aspect, you it just replenishes itself. You don't have to keep doing things with it, like to build it back up. Whereas with the Roamer, uh, the arrows and things, you're going to have to always continuously build up. Uh, but also the Ender Step skill, I like the ability to you know become immune versus just being able to escape in general. So uh, that that was kind of me running through the classes for the for the new update on the mod pack of Dawncraft Echoes of Legends. If you like this video, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.